everything I touched in the last two weeks has kind of gone down and um, I can only blame myself really here. Kind of getting crushed on a couple of names. So let's get into it. I just want all of the money. Do you know what I said? I gotta get the dinner with the cash and the bread. Money. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm down I've actually gotten hosed pretty bad on Teva. I think if I look at my total cost basis on Teva, it's probably going to be as high as $16 a share. And that's because it's one of those names I have in my long-term portfolio. I think it became the name itself became famous after news broke out that Warren Buffett was buying more and more Teva. He upped his stake a lot this year. Um, having said that though, if anyone were to ask me what I felt about Teva, I'm buying Teva for a trade right now. I'm not trying to get it back up to $14 or $15 a share. And Teva has been owning my soul. A good business, but I was not expecting it to pay out the fines it did. And it's just been on a, the most massive downtrend of all time. I'm going to buy another pretty small piece with, of course, the intention of flipping this within a couple of days. Hopefully within a day or so I can offload it for a little bit more. I mean, this is a name that I have lost probably well over 50% of what I had invested. They paid way too much in litigation costs in terms of a settlement. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's even a good buy at its current price. Um, or that I recommend it. I'm just looking at it for a quick trade. Maybe I can sell what I just picked up at $8.60 off a couple of days from now, maybe a little bit more, but that has bitten me in the ass with Nvidia and a couple of other names as stocks just keep going down and Teva has a lot of bad things going on about it. I feel like in a lot of ways, it's another GE right now where they have a lot of debt that they have to service. So I would be a little scared about that. Just because Warren Buffett is buying something doesn't mean that it's a great investment. Warren Buffett is probably the greatest investor of all time, but he makes mistakes. He, brought, he bought Kraft Heinz and Kraft Heinz turned out to be a pretty bad trade. The big name that I've been mistiming in this past few weeks is NVIDIA. NVIDIA is a very high beta name. Uh, and by be high beta, I mean the value of the, or the, the price of the stock can fluctuate all over the place. So you kind of have to have a little bit of a stomach to trade something like NVIDIA. I bought it into earnings, I think below 160, like 159. I still covered calls on it into earnings, but that thing has been getting beat up time and time again right now. It just keeps dropping, of course, with the fear of the trade war. Essentially, China is a huge buyer of NVIDIA's product, and with the potential of a trade war, we don't know what's gonna happen there. It's floating around 136 right now. There's actually uh, probably $36,000 just in the account that I make visible to you guys uh, of exposure in NVIDIA that I picked up on, uh, on this dip. Uh, it just keeps going lower. I'll probably buy in one more chunk if it goes a, a, a lot lower, but I'm not really going to be aggressively buying Nvidia. I don't know what's going to be happening with this trade war and so far um, me picking up Nvidia, my cost basis I think is right around 150 uh, in total or 152. Let's just say it's 153, 154. Um, if it goes down, you know, much lower with this trade war or something like that, I, it's, it's a possibility. Um, if I do buy, I'm going to keep the size a little small. You guys can look at the footage. Uh, give me some advice here on NVIDIA. Maybe I should just sell it. Maybe it's just too much risk for me to carry, but quite frankly, I, I don't really see it going down too much lower, more than $100. I think tech is the future and companies like Nvidia and AMD are going to be leading the way. So in the long run, I think it's still a good buy. Square has been down a lot since the price I bought it at, but one of the things uh, I will say about Square is uh, the losses are not as bad as they seem because I've been selling covered calls on these for... Uh, making anywhere from two to three hundred dollars a month on just selling the covered calls on them so 
am I still losing money? Yes, but I fully expect Square to kind of bounce back from here. I think I will eventually get some of this back. So news is not completely grim. Um, and I'm gonna do a video later on this week explaining why my losses have been negated in the stock market by cryptocurrency. So this past week, um, or, or this past two months, cryptocurrency has essentially doubled in value. And I have a lot of cryptocurrency exposure right now. Um, in fact, you'll notice in my uh, accounts, my brokerage statement, you'll see this uh, ticker symbol XBT, uh, Bitcoin futures. I'll talk a little bit more about that later on this week, as well as my total exposure to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I'm going to do a little bit more talking about how, you know, you from an E-Trade account or something like that can get some exposure to the cryptocurrency markets. Other than that, enjoy uh, watching me lose money. Uh, I'm very good at it and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Just, just want all of the money